Hey everyone, Reed here. Today I'm going to show you some really cool ways to further organize your DAX measures inside of a Power BI desktop report. I want to cover three important topics, which are going to be how to add subfolders for your measures, how to add a single measure into two different folders at the same time, and how to make sure your measures stay at the top of your fields list if you decide to keep them in your data table. So let's hop into Power BI and get started. Now, if you're curious how I made the folders in general, I will direct you to this video here that talks about how I added these folders to begin with. But for this conversation, notice that I have this folder called adjusted that is actually a subfolder within my actuals folder. So that's one thing that I'm able to do. Another thing in here is you might notice that there is an actuals variance to budget that is in both my actuals folder and my budget folder. Those are not two different measures. That is the same measure in two different folders. If I actually just create an empty page and drag and drop this onto just a new visual, notice that it added from both because technically it's just one measure. This is really useful if you have a calculation that can technically fall in two different categories, but you don't want to have to pick one or the other. Somebody can search for it in either one of those folders and find it easily. So that's the second thing that I want to show. And the third thing that I want to talk about is, as an example, if you just have your data table and don't want a separate measures folder, then how do you create where this measure here, as an example, can be ordered at the top? Because these things are sorted alphabetically. So that will be the third thing that I will show you. So let's go ahead and come over here to the relationship view. And what I'd like to show you is one, how did I create this adjusted subfolder? So if I select the measure here, actuals adjusted, that is in that subfolder, take a look at the display folder name. Now this is very important. The thing that I add to create a subfolder is right in here. If I put that forward slash in here, that is what will allow me to have a subfolder. So anytime you want to create a subfolder, just list the original top folder in there and then go ahead, put a forward slash in, followed by the subfolder name. That is how you accomplish that. Now, similarly to the concept of adding a single measure to two separate folders for that actual variance to budget, let's go ahead and select that measure. Notice here that I have between the two folder names, a semicolon in there. That will allow me to put it in any number of folders I want. So I can have it in two, three, four, any number of them. I just need a semicolon between each single folder name. And it's easy as that to accomplish both of those. Now, the last thing I wanted to mention, as I said, is how do I put that total page views, which is currently sorted alphabetically at the top of the list. The trick that I found is if you want to keep it in your data table, but you still want to move them into the top of the list in terms of ordering, you can put an underscore in front of it for every measure. That's one thing you can do. You could also start each measure with something like a period. If you use this naming convention for all of them, then you will make sure that they all stay separately sorted at the top above all of your column names. It provides a bit more granular organization that way. And these three tricks will help you very effectively organize all of your measures, especially when you get larger models with a lot of different calculations in it. And that about covers it for this video. If you like this video, please click or smash that like button below. And if you have anything to say about this video or you have a comment for a future video, please add that to the comment section down below. And if this is your first time to my channel or you want to see more of my awesome videos, please click that subscribe and notification button. And otherwise, I will see you all in my next video.